A hey, shalom, Akim shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I'm allowed to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in the gospel, bro, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is a new lesson through the Spirit. It says Rockefeller's foundation. Salaki, my allergies. Uh, new focus on climate change. Sick news, the next phase, great reset. Now, uh, we've uh, went into this, and I've went into this several times, but I don't think I necessarily got into this particular article as I've been sitting on it for about a month. Um, I'm definitely not going to read all this. Like uh, This should be all day. But uh, this is some good information. I will, be, I will make sure I will post it in a link. So you brothers and you few sisters that may watch may have some type of insight on what's going on. But it says uh, in a late July 20, what is it, 2022, Rockefeller Foundation uh, President, Rav, uh, what is it, uh, Dr. Rajiv J. Shah released a public letter detailing the organization's plan to increase their resources and attention to addressing climate change. Um, it says, Shah noted that the RF had a hand in shaping the American and global response to the you-know-what as they funded projects like Common Pass, helping promote the concept of the you-know-what. So they already showed you that there was already nefarious acts behind this. But it says, established in 1913, <laughs> it says, the foundation used the Rockefeller family wealth to ostensibly promote public health. Wow. So basically all the public health institutions there under the Rockefeller Foundation, same thing with the medical uh, uh, institutions. And this is the reason why they push certain methods of, of, of uh, healing on the people, if you know what I mean. Like when you go to work, when you mention public health, they want to target the black communities and they want to put their uh, their their uh, utensils there. And I'm like, how the hell are y'all talking about? public health on one hand but on the next hand y'all are literally doing things to offset people's life you know what i'm saying and that's why you question it it says promote public health by funding mass such and such campaigns to the founding of public health authorities around the world to continue that mission today says uh the rfss must directly confront the climate change it says climate change poses a singular threat to humanity <laughs> sure right as if you're not the one that's behind it now we understand that these are all the plagues of the heavenly father as to why the weather is, is out of whack but the most high used means of physicality through the so-called white man to fuck up the earth exactly how you're seeing it now like overly hot temperatures like right now it feels pretty good outside it's like in the 70s nice breeze it's not that humid well it's pretty humid but when you go out there it gets humid and then later on in the day towards night it's like it gets warmer that's Esau Edom using those particular narratives and talking points to be justified on bringing in lockdowns. Because honestly, I was reading something in a group message in a group meet and the brothers was putting out articles about how this guy, Cotton Swab's daughter, which that, that, that fucking, that demon, that devil. All right, bitch look like a motor box of cookies, man. Stale ones at that. Talking about. Oh, well, we're going to bring in climate lockdowns, whether you like it or not. Well, I'm going to tell you straightforward. The mother nations, they ready for you, man. Okay, because the elder brother Barack Allah from Cali, he did a lesson on the dark nations rising up against you, man. So you're going to have a full, a hard time getting your NWO off the ground. You know, but it's all through the, you know, the, the will of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, because we know the Lord, he deals with the controversy. We know he deals with both sides. So it's interesting to see how the world is going to respond to your threat. Unlike these these bums in America, they accept any goddamn thing, you know. But it says uh, it says climate change poses a singular threat to humanity. She wrote, "We have decided that the Rockefeller Foundation would take specific actions, and why is it always them to take specific actions to transform how humanity farms and eats and powers its communities and homes, prevents and protects against disease and lives and works." It says that is how we will make the opportunity universal and sustainable, right? By creating certain situations, pushing a false narrative, and then bringing in a, a squad to clean it up that's going to stick with your narrative, man. Okay, like right now, right? Let's just say if you wanted to demolish a building, okay? Let's just say if you wanted to, to, to get a piece of land, right? And you want to demolish a building. What he would do, 
he will lie and say that it's rat infested so he could be justified on tearing it down. So basically what he would do, he would get a bunch of rats or whatever he do, he would probably drill holes. He would probably run a trash system underneath your apartment complex just so it can be infested with rats, just so he can be justified on quote unquote saving a day by tearing down a property when the whole purpose of the land in the first place was for him to tear down your land, displace you, and to push his agenda. Okay, and nothing to do with he wanted to clear your home of rats. Esau can give a shit about if you're living good or not. He don't. Esau don't care if you're if you're in poor and you're in poverty. He condones it. You know, he just do shit to fuck up Jake's life. Like it tells you in Proverbs, it says he don't sleep unless he calls something to fall. You know. But anyway, uh, it says Sa says the foundation is taking its steps in this direction. Already including helping women get green jobs, investing in regener regenerative agriculture and community to divest its six billion endowment from fossil fuels. It says Shah said the foundations have divested most of our endowment from the sector, but the foundation also partnered with the IKEA Foundation <laughs> and the Bezos Earth Fund to accelerate the transition to so-called renewable energy. Now notice that none of these people were elected to, to, to carry on these things, man. Like, who's elected the, the CEO of the Rockefeller Foundation and IKEA found? Who given them authority? Are these elected officials in office? Or are these major world corporations that's behind and changing your life? Okay, which controls and funds governments. A shadow government, so to speak. Because you ask yourself, okay, this guy's suave. Like, who the hell is he? He's not a fucking congressman. Who the hell is he to make any decision over anybody? But they've given powers to the uh, WEF, man. And... Slowly but for surely, we're going to see a change in this global infrastructure from the way you buy, sell, the way you live, the way you travel. Everything is getting ready to come to an abrupt halt. All right. It says the foundation. Oh, I read that already. It says the group claimed to have raised more than $10 billion in additional funds. But the announcement of the reallocation resources did not include much of the way of his details or solid plans. But however, Shah did write that the foundation's goal is to develop an integrated version and plan for the years 2025 to 2030 <laughs> that will be shared with rf trustees within a year no update has been shared since the letter was published okay so hey they're showing you right there an agent of globalization and it goes down here a 2023 is the year of this global new order new global order is 2023 is year one of this global new order so basically we're in it and it's just gonna climb from there Yep, and I'm just kind of going over the article. Rockefeller's Foundation's Fox Environment Movement. This is a heavy article, man. It says, does this fight against climate change mask a eugenics agenda? <laughs> I say so. But anyway, I'm not going to read all of it, man. But just to show you that this devil, man, he's he's really on one. And we've been telling you, Jakes, man. All right, so this is the book of Psalm 17. And I'm going to start at verses 10. It says they are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth. They speak proudly. OK, this is a proud speak because in their mindset, they're like, well, look, we're really going to do this. And we don't give a damn who accepts it. Like I said, again, Cotton Schwab daughters basically stated we're going to enforce climate lockdowns no matter what you think about it. Basically, they're justifying on fucking up the atmosphere, disrupting the weather. This is what the whole thing in Canada, the alleged wildfires in Canada was all about, which spread to these United States cities. Find out that it was intel and report that came out that they saw planes starting those fires in Canada. Wasn't natural. And the way that that shit was burning, you know it wasn't natural. Same thing they did in California three years ago. We had those fire NATOs, etc. It looked like a, something from an apocalyptic movie, man. Esau Edom is doing that on the left-hand side. But the Lord is allowing him to do it because it's still part of the judgments of the Heavenly Father. You see, the Lord is cold-blooded. But it says, um, they are enclosed in their own fat, and with their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassers in our steps, and they have their eyes set, bowing down to the earth, meaning they have control over everything. Okay? Through their cameras, their laboratories, man, they control their governments, their corporations. All these things are, are mere, uh, uh, how can I say it? Are, uh, it's a term I'm looking for. Ways to it, not ways to an end. It's called uh, means to an end to establish a global war order. Order, 
This is the reason why they're getting ready to establish where well, the Fed now is already up and running. But this is one reason why they're getting ready to switch over to CBDCs, man. And one day, there's gonna one day you're gonna wake up, you ain't gonna be able to get money from your account. You know, you ain't gonna be able to get money from your bank. And before you know it, you won't have to go to some government office or some state office to get registered for this whole ordeal. Because that's the ultimate plan of Esau. Okay? Which is gonna bring back the second coming of Yahweh Shah. And I can't wait. But it says, they have now capacitors on our steps and they have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. But arise, O Lord, and disappoint him and cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, because remember when Isaac gave the blessing to Jacob and Esau, what did he give the blessing to Esau? He gave him the fatness of the earth and to rule with the sword. Okay, so the fatness of the earth is what you're seeing now. He has the majority of the world. He set up his central banks. He's setting up these cities. He's coming with this glue, this new world order. Okay, and he's doing all this by the form of the sword. Through police forces, through uh, uh, military intervention, through policies he's pushing from behind closed doors. Okay, and through uh, false flag attacks. It's the reason why you have the setups that you're seeing now. Okay, he's not just going to let life be as it's going to be. Because this devil doesn't know peace. But it says, For men which are thy hand, O Lord, for men of the world which have their portion in this life. And the portion of their life is to rule with the sword and have the fatness of the earth. And like whose belly thou fill with thy hid treasure, they are full of children. It says, And they leave the rest of their substance to babe. So, you know, it's because David Rockefeller has gone and passed on to the spirit world. It doesn't mean that his sons, okay, his grandsons after them, Will not continue to push this new world order because this is what they swore in. This is what their oath was. So that was the whole family plan from the get go. Okay. So, uh, uh, basically, he's playing God. This is his sick, demented way of the kingdom of heaven on earth. This is his version of the kingdom of heaven. And it reads here it says, as Wood notes, the trilateral commission. <laughs> was confounded or co-founded by uh, Zygmunt Brzezinski, which is basically Obama's handler. If you know him, he was handling, uh, bringing Obama up in the 90s, man, 95, 96. And a trilateral commission is one form of the uh, the faction of the Illuminati of America, which shows you this guy, Brzezinski Zelensky, was juiced in. And basically he took Obama under his wing, which shows you that Obama is part of the plan as well. For all you niggas out there that thought this damn devil was your friend all because he looks like a he don't even look like a negro man he's just an, uh, a a monkey with dark with, with brown skin man that's all he is see you jake you don't do the research you don't look into motherfuckers past you don't look into the wicked organizations that these people start or how they use to disannoy you from your heritage okay you just look at the fact that the hype job they put in the news the lies they put in the news and you let this flaming monkey pop up out of the blue man like where the fuck did he come from Okay, all of a sudden, you know, out the blue, they promote this fucking blow pop head nigga you call Obama out the blue and put him on a world stage. And you dumb niggas went down there and voted for him like it was the second coming of your house shot, man. I'll never forget when that nigga won the first election in Chicago, man. They had to shut Chicago down. You know, literally niggas was 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 out there. Right. Live. I mean, niggas thought shit, man. Jake was living a life. <laughs> and then what about two three months later the economy collapsed <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's just like you jakes are stupid man and this is exactly what you get with the hell is getting ready to come to you and we don't feel bad all right but it says uh the altar between the two ages america's role in a technocratic era which is a technocracy which sought to revive the technocratic movement of the 1930s and it makes sense too when obama signed that health bill Back in 2012, you go to page 1001, I believe, or 10, it goes into a medical registry being inserted in your body. Okay, so that shows you that this whole plan, like I believe uh, something called Behold a Pale Horse. It was a book that came out like in 1984, if I'm not mistaken. You know, Satan's Angels, I believe. You had a lot of books that came out in the 80s, 1984, that revealed the plans of the elites. All right. But it says, finally, Shah's membership to the Atlantic Council should be also raise alarm bells. It says the Atlantic Council have become more familiar to Americans in the light of recent revelations from Twitter files. 
But however, the Atlantic Council has been making moves behind the scenes in recent years. But in May of 2018, the organization partnered with Facebook to fight fake news, quote unquote. But only six months later, the infamous purge of 2018 removed more than 500 accounts of independent media and researchers from Facebook, Twitter and YouTube because they wanted to silence the truth. All right. So it says Dr. Shai also spoke at the World Economic Forum's 2022 gatherings in Davos, Switzerland, and is listed as the agenda contributor to the WEF. But during an interview with CNBC in Davos, he was asked what he makes of the fact that the nations around the world are sitting on you know what because there are no takers. Shai responded, a big part of why the such and such is not being demanded right now is there's tremendous misinformation about the such and such, their effectiveness and their safety. So a lot of people who need them don't want them because they've been told something that's false. And we need to invest in that problem in order to turn it around and to change of the course of the you know what. So basically, man, they trying to deceive your ass. You know, it says Shah said the Rockefeller Foundation and investing in the such and such accessing countries around the world with the goal of reaching 90 percent of the high risk groups within the country. It says he also believed that there needs to be some sort of international agreement about how much the world responds to this, which they must include a better real time surveillance system. There you go. There you go, man. That's the what's the name of that movie? Uh, Elysium Minority Report. This is it, man. And they're straight up telling you what they want to do. All right. And it's going to get real bad in a minute, man. Because they hell bent on killing people. <laughs> These people are not for you, man. They're not for our people, rather. All right. Job 5 and 12, it says, To disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the fortis carry headlong. Okay? The counsel of the of, of their of their rulership is this new world order, man. And they're gonna do whatever it takes to get this off the ground, even if it meant eliminating the competition with speaking out against them. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to have to get rid of uh, men that speak out against this stuff because they feel like it's a, a, a halt and it's causing their agenda to be stagnated. But regardless of it, the Lord is going to upset their agenda. So you could come with your hit squads and do what you want to do or think you're going to do what you want to do, but it's going to be to no avail. All right. Job 20 and 5, that the triumph of the wicked is short, but the joy of the hypocrite before a moment, it's not going to work. It's going to fail, bro. We're reading it. Through his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaching to the clouds, yet he should perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him would say, where is he? He should fly away as a dream and should not be found. Yea, he should be chased away as a vision of the night. And I can't wait till the most high get rid of Esau, bro. Like when this devil goes down, that's going to be the man we're going to celebrate. Literally, there's going to be peace on earth. Once this, this, this guy is put in subjection and ultimately pummeled and beat down like he deserves to be. We ain't got to worry about somebody trying to deceive us into taking something that's clearly not beneficial to us. Somebody trying to put something in you to, to, to track your every move and determine how much money you can spend at a rep. Fuck all that, man. That's slavery. You know, we, we, we're, we're coming to the point that the Lord is getting ready to remove his ass out of power. And righteously so. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. But the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knew it he have a short time. So before it's said and done, Esau is going to bring it all. He's going to throw it all he got, man. Literally, he's going to he's gonna throw the kitchen sink at us, man. So just be prepared to catch that motherfucker be able to dodge it. So with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shemra, Kakwadash. And with that, Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.